I am really thirsty. I don't care anymore. And that's when I made one of the dumbest decisions of my life. My most favorite movie was The Children of Conflict because it told you more about like the effects of war. I've even heard a song about sang sung by I think Salim and Suleiman Merchant. It was really touching and I really liked it. It's very touching. It's very um it has a very deep meaning. It had a darker and a deeper side of meaning. It was not inspirational for the children but to show that how children are like what problems they are facing in those parts of the world where conflict is there. It's not sad, it's reality. I didn't like the direction much. But it was a good movie. The film Maria dealt with a very peculiar issue. It dealt about uh, the sexual assaults of little girls these days. But this film did not convey a very straightforward message, though it showed the scenario, but it not but it could not conclude anything. So uh, I would give this film 5 on 10. Basically, it questions trust. It conveys the message that parents shouldn't leave the children alone. Even if they insist to go and play somewhere nearby, they should always keep an eye on them. Maria was a good movie, uh, but it could have been executed in a better way because the storyline had a lot of gaps in between, uh, which could have been covered with good direction. I think the movie also conveyed a very strong message about issues that are not uh, raised in uh, general media. Apram Veda, tell me. Apram, you tell me. It was a really interesting movie. In the beginning, uh, I thought it was dealing with some serious topic like the relationship between girls and boys. But at last, it took over uh, a really nice turn. In the starting, it was really boring. But at the end, was unexpected and was really amazing. This movie talks about how, how deceptive appearances are. Don't judge the book by its cover. The striking feature of this movie was the plot, the sh uh, the chirping of the birds with the uh, shiver in the winter morning, and moreover the cracking sound of the ice and the snow with the footsteps of the uh, of the child was itself quite uh, very much appealing. Just using the help of the bird, he thinks that he could go to his mother, the passion, but realizes that it is impossible to go to someone who is already has been lost. It shows that the. The child had realized what his grandmother had said him that the birds had their birds flew to the heaven, and they uh, like he thought that he he will meet uh, he'll c c convey his message to his mother. That was very a uh, heart touching film. Papa, my school to late ho rahi hai. Meri gut kar do. Papa. Fir putra. उन्हें सब तेनों आप ही सीखना पैना Uh, here was a very touching story and uh, it uh, teaches us the importance of letting it go uh, and i could connect to it uh, very well as uh, recently uh, even i had lost uh, someone uh, so i like the movie very much i thought here was really really good uh children conflict was a very good movie but i thought here was like it was perfect camera also the cinematography and the direction of the movie was very well done so i think it's one of the very good movie and well planned movie her father was practicing how to braid uh, her hair so i like the ending of the movie here is all about it is a film all about realization you know that phone you open on can you crash ha 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 my phone One left. One little spark can ignite a huge fire. So, so means bounce was just like based on that idea. Light-hearted, heartwarming movie. It's a very relatable movie which captures the essence of being a child. It makes me happy when I see that small little girl smiling, smiling and doing work. Her a little bit smile can make any one of you happy. This that is what a film does. I also go for theaters. for enjoyment if 
I feel that the movie is bored, I will come out of the theater. But in this kind of film festival, we can't do this. We have to see every film. So I want to say that the bounce was the best because it shows the effort of a girl and her determination to get a toy. But now we want to discuss on which one is the best and why it's the best. I think Bounce should be nominated for the best film. It was very inspiring and it really touched my heart. We don't need something great out message from the entire story. We just need a very simple thing and that can change the entire uh, concept of the entire story and that can actually attract the people. It's actually a very um, good concept how to explain what a child thinks at that age. So for Chingol, I would like to nominate the birds. It was not clear, totally it was not clear and I did not like the movie. Our motive is to select a movie which will give a very strong message to the children so that they can comprehend. We want, them, uh, we want to give a message which will actually entertain them and actually motivate them, not demoralize them or terrify them. The chin goal goes to the movie Bounce. The chin goal goes to Bounce! And the chin silver goes to the movie The Birds. The Bounce was a very lighthearted and a very happy movie. It showed us the way a child yearns for something very special to him or her. And the movie the Birds gives us a very, uh, very sentimental viewpoint of a small boy 